It's a great day for hockey cards, and today we're going to take a look at 2020, 2021 OPG Hockey, the most comprehensive single base set in hockey. That is true. This is a giant set, 600 cards. So a lot of people that are set collectors really like this set because this is where you get some of your third and fourth liners that won't normally get a card in any of the other products. They'll find them in Opeachy. This is actually always a really fun set to open every year. You hear a lot of people go, oh, this is the set for kids because nothing's worth any money. But, like, I don't really think it's a set for kids. I think, you know, it's a good set to start out with because of the price. This was 50 US and you get 18 packs and 10 cards per pack. But, uh, you know, I, I feel you're shortchanging the product when you call it a set for kids. Chronology Volume 2, coming up, almost 200 different signers. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Uh, hopefully it'll be slightly better than Chrono Chronology Volume 1, which I wasn't a huge fan of. There we go. Let's get right into it. So Leon Dreisaitl gracing his first upper deck box and pack. Dr. Dre. So lots of stuff in Opeachy this year. As is every year, they've got Easter eggs. Well, the pack is kind of weird. It's like a plasticky pack. It's interesting. I see that the card card stock has actually changed. So let's take a real quick look at the base. Alexander Steen there. Uh, so sticking with kind of like the futuristic Apichi look of the last few years. But what I really noticed when I open it up is the white backs. They're using bleached cardboard instead of the... Uh, the raw looking cardboard, but they did add a photo to the back. So, I don't know if it's good or bad, it's just different. We've got Madison Bowie, Mike Hoffman, Ricard Raquel, and we've got these are the retros. Here's Cam Neely, Marquee Legend. Whoa, there's the back. Oh, and that's that's really different with the different coloring on the back. That's kind of neat with the old school peachy logo. I like that. And here are the playing cards, which they brought back again this year. We've got the tennis spades, Johnny Goudreau. Those are really nice looking as well. Marquee rookie, Igor Korshkov. Might take me a little bit to get all the rookies' names right this year. Matt Roy. Shea Weber. And Essa Lindell. So usually most of the rookies in here are going to be your carryover rookies, just like an MVP. You don't see many, you know, well, you won't see any from this year because pandemic hockey, the new season hasn't actually started, but you usually don't get too many of the new rookies. Mackenzie Blackwood, Colton Pareko, Carter Rowney, Mitch Marner, and we've got a retro of Ryan Graves. And then we've got a red back, a red border of Jonathan Marsha Show. Team checklist. These are actually short printed this year, and they just show you all the all the players from that team in the set. Jared McCann, Martin Jones, and Alex Chason. So you do get a lot for your money in this. You get a ton of cards. There's photo variations. There's all kinds of stuff I probably will miss while actually doing this video. Mark Stone, Ryan O'Reilly, Connor McDavid. See, there's a chance that that's a photo variation because it's an alternate jersey. Cal Connor, Joel Erickson Eck, and Nico Heischer. Retro. There's the Ottawa Senators checklist. Jordan Bennington. Cam Fowler and Pekka Rene. I'll probably go a little bit faster than I normally do because I know this will be a slightly longer break. Unless we find something cool. The packs are really weird because they're really weird kind of plastic. Interesting. Josh Bailey, Sergey Bobrovsky, Chris Kreider, got Riley Smith, Sean Monahan, Jacob Chikrin's our retro. And we've got a blue border of Alex Ayafalo, player I really like. I uh, haven't seen him play much because he's, he's out west, but uh, I really like to watch him play. Jordan Biddington, the eight of clubs. 
Gustav Nyquist and Tyson Jost. The playing cards, the aces, are the rare ones. They're the, they're the tough pulls. I think they're somewhere like one in every 200 packs. Ben Bishop, Colin White, Zygmus Jurgensens, Bobby Fabry, and the retro is Zach Wierenski. In the past, they've had blank backs, which are worth a little bit more. They're a little, little more rare. Blue border of Jesper Boquist. And here's a black border retro, I believe, of Gabe Landeskog. This should be numbered to 100, and it is, 10 of 100. So those are cool. I think you get two of those per box. Ben Hutton, Kyle Clifford, and Igor Shesterkin. So you're also getting your second-year cards of the hot rookies from last year, like Shesterkin. I will caution you, be careful opening these packs, because... They don't open very well, and you might damage your cards. Jake Muzzin, Casey Sezikis, Kale McCarr, Eric Stahl, and we've got Nikolai Ehlers. Oh, there we go. There's a blank back. Nikolai Ehlers Retro, blank back. So, as you see, the name, it's blank. <laughs> so, the, those are rare. I don't know what the odds are on those. Uh, League Leaders Retro from Quinn Hughes. Brandon Hagel, marquee rookie. Radko Gudis, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, and Kevin Fiala. This pack feels thicker than the others, but uh, I know they do have patches, like manufactured patches in these products. We did not get one. Timo Meyer, Eric Gustafson, Nicholas Dromerson. Nick Schmaltz, and we've got, they call these, I think they call these tall boys, even though they're not tall. They're really thin boys. And we've got a rookie here, Nicholas Bedouin. And the color backs are really nice touch. Those are nice cards. Jake Allen retro. We've got a Brendan Gallagher blue border. Dylan DeMello, Alexander Texier, and Brady Kachuk. These packs, man. Tough, tough, tough. See, like, it's just like this weird, stretchy-ish plastic. Weird. Andrei Svechnikov, Martin Nikach, Jimmy Howard, Christian Dvorak. Whoop. And we've got our thin boy of Mark Shifley. I like, too, they're using the old uh, Opeachy Premier. Sebastian Ajo, retro. And a Nicholas Bedouin, uh, marquee rookie. Ryan Pollock, Nick Holden, and Richard Ponick. So last year, I pulled a Austin Matthews blank back. And that was pretty cool, so it's kind of neat to get another one this year. Ryan Murray. Dustin Brown, Tori Krug, Matt Murray, Noel, Noel Acciari, Jeff Carter Retro. Got a team checklist of the Devils. Louis Erickson, Chris Letang, and Brent Burns. So we got a Letanger for the PC. About halfway through here. I see a lot of damaged corners, I think, from the way those wrappers come undone. Jack Eichel, Travis Konechny, Anders Lee. We've got a blue border of TJ Brody. And then we've got a retro black of Michael Froelich. 28 of 100. Anthony Beauvillier, retro. Nicholas Haig, Keith Yandel, Ian Cole, Corey Crawford. So, like, you can see why this is kind of a fun product to open. As long as you're not searching for, you know, autos and memorabilia all over the place. You know, know what, know what to expect. But there's a lot of different inserts, and they usually throw a bunch of Easter eggs in there. So there's a lot of stuff you really get. And you usually get two or three different kind of things in one pack. Jacob Chikrin, Braden McNabb, Austin Wagner, Jonas Donskoy, and we've got our thin boy of Artemi Panarin. 
Yeah, so like in this pack here, we've got our Temi Panarin, we've got our Retro of Kirby Doc, and then we also pulled a uh, playing card, Six of Hearts, Tyler Sagan. And I think this might be short printed high series, these league leaders of Andre Vasilevsky, Andy Green, and Steven John. So there's a bunch of stuff just just in that one pack that's not base. And you see, you see a lot of that with this product. Justin Williams, Max Pacioretty, Connor Sherry, Nicholas Backstrom, Elvis Merzlikens, Patrick Marlowe, one of the few cards he's probably going to have in a Pens uniform. We've got a marquee legend of Mike Medano. Radic Faxa Retro. Got Cody Eakin and Laurent Brossois. I think that's how you pronounce that. I could be completely wrong. Zach Wierenski, Jake Allen, Dylan Strom, Cam Atkinson, Alexander Radulov. Got a team checklist of the Hawks. Got a marquee legend, Timu Solane. Andrew Shaw, TJ Brody, and John Gibson. Getting down near the bottom, looks like we have five packs left. Uh, with that retro blank back, it's a pretty cool box, I think. P.K. Subban, Peter Morazic, Nazim Kadri, Michael Kepney, Eric Johnson retro. This is this is the old school checklist. This is how they did it, uh, you know, when everything was made out of this cardboard stock. Is you didn't get, you know, unlike Upper Deck Series 1 and Series 2, you don't get any players, you don't get anything on here. You just get little check boxes. Bless you, cat. Ron Hainsey, um, we pulled two checklists in the same pack, which would happen, and that's bogus. Corey Perry and Yanni Gord. I want a player. I don't want checklists. Sorry for the interruption there. Got Philip Forsberg, Tyler Toffoli, Nathan Bilyeu. I don't know that one either. Cal Clutterbuck. And there's a Kale McCarr. Thin boy. Caleb Jones retro. Oh, there's a double J marquee legend. That's nice. Wearing one of my favorite uh, Pens jerseys. Miko Koivu. Sid the Adult and Alex Goligoski. Trying to get these open without destroying the corners on these cards. Be careful when you buy this. Be careful. Derek Forbert, Dougie Hamilton, Miles Wood, Redeem Simek. See, there's, there's a guy you're probably not getting in any other set. Matthias Eckholm, there's Brandon Montour Retro, Maxim Latunov, Latunov. Oof. Thomas Tatar, Pavel Francouz, and Mikhail Granlund. Two packs left. Connor Murphy, Nikita Gusev, Matt Dumba, Freddie Anderson, and Ilya Samsonov. Blue border, and then we've got a Derek Stepan. Retro, a six of diamonds, Ryan O'Reilly. The back of these are just really sweet looking. Carl Soderberg, Rasmus Dahlin, and Travis Dermott. Last pack. Checklist, Roman Yossi. Tyler Sagan, Adam Larson, Anthony D'Angelo, Anthony Sorelli, Andre Palat is our retro. We've got a season highlights of Zdeno Chara hitting his 1500th game played. That man will never retire. Kyler Yamamoto and Alex Stalock. So there you have it. 
That's 2020, 2021. Opeachy hockey. Remember, it's not just for kids. It's actually a really fun set to, to complete if you are in the set building world. There's not many cards in it that are super rare. Uh, even the high series aren't really that rare. So it's a, it's really affordable. Um, it's a good set. Um, it's not one that, uh, that I personally collect, but, you know, just don't get it in your mind that this is only for kids. You, you can you can enjoy opening this if you're not a kid. It's a really fun break. But that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.